it's good to see you. Um, now I know you're watching this at home, so I have asked all of your mummies and daddies what kinds of arts materials you've got. So I've done my best to make sure that I'm always um, showing you something that you can do at home. Now today it's nearly Easter, Easter next week. So we're going to make this lovely Easter bunny. He's nice and simple. Um, he's been made using Powertex and stone art clay. But today I'm going to make him using just air dry clay. And if you don't have that at home, you can use a salt dough, which is very easy to make at home. So I'll put a recipe on for the salt dough if you don't have it. But otherwise, let's get started. I'll just pop him. He can sit here and watch us, can't he? Um, <coughs> so first of all, we need a piece of paper and a plate. This is quite a small plate, it's up to you. This is um, one from Ikea, so I thought you might have this. And we're just using the plate to draw around. So draw around, you want a circle like this. And then cut out the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just cut round. We're going to use this to make a cone. Okay, it's a circle and then we're going to fold this in half. So we have a crescent, a half moon. Then fold it in half again, so we have a pizza shape. Then open it up, and we've got four lines. And we're just going to cut down one of the lines, any one, it doesn't matter which one. We're going to cut from the edge to the middle, just on one line. Okay. Ooh. So I will do it and then show you. So just on one. And now, did you see what I did there? So I'm going to pass them round and keep forcing them round, wrapping them round to make a cone. Now, it's up to you whether you want to have a tall, thin cone, a short, fat cone. I've ripped mine. Oh. Doesn't matter. Right, let me try again. <laughs> so this is just very thin paper. You can, from the photocopier, you can use any paper for this. Um, okay. I made my cone shape. Like a princess hat. And then you just need a piece of tape or masking tape. to fix that in place. Okay. And now I'm going to cut the top off because this, he's, st he's still got his inside. This is the base, okay? So we're going to wrap his coat around and then we're gonna stick the head on top, but it's a bit pointy. So just cut the head off, not at the top of the cone. Um, I might cut a bit more off. So it's flat and you've got a hole in the top. Okay. And then put that to one side. Now take out your clay. I'm going to make his... Should we make his head first or his body? Let's do his head. Let's do his head first. So I've got a piece of clay. 
about this big. I want to roll it round into an egg shape. So you can do it round and round. <clears throat> this is going to be his head. So, bigger at the back. And we want a bit, a bit of a pointy nose. Oh, I've got a mouth coming already. That's exciting. So, mm, is that a big mouth? It looks a bit sad. It, it looks more like a fish. So, if we've got... Now, I've got some little pokey things to make, make his mouth. But you can use a pencil. Oh. There we are. And then I'm going to make his eyes. So you can just use your pencil. Um, make his eyes. Just two holes for his eyes. It's a bit easier before <clears throat> you've put his head on the body to do this. Otherwise it becomes a fiddle. We'll, put his, we'll do his ears last. So just put his head to one side. There we are. I just put that to one side and now we're going to make his body. So you want a bigger piece of clay. Oh, it's, oh I just love touching clay. So start with the circle and then make a bit of a sausage. I'm just going to move this bunny over here for a minute. I want to so make a bit of a sausage and then get your rolling pin. If you haven't got a rolling pin, actually, this is something. You, Mummy and Daddy might not let you use the kitchen rolling pin. You can, if you've got an empty jar, they make really good rolling pins. So you could just flatten it. And we're going to roll it out. See, I'm using the jar to show you it's fine. Roll it out. Because what we want to do is this is going to be his coat that wraps around his body. Can you see the kind of size it is? And then you can just keep checking it against the cone that you've made to see if it's big enough to fit. I think mine is going to be enormous. Wrap it round. It's massive, but I quite like that. I could fold it back and then it looks like, it looks a bit like he's got a dressing gown on. Can you see? So it looks, it does look like a dressing gown. Oh, that's quite exciting. I like that. I think I'm going to keep that. Now, I'm going to have to take it off again but keep that shape so I can put some pretty patterns on. So now I can see where it was going on. Just gonna lay it carefully down. And I want to make some patterns on here. It's much easier to make them on here now than it would be to do it once it's on fixed onto the comb. So I've got a comb here that I quite, um, Make, oh, really love the marks it makes. I'll show you in a second. Let me just make a couple. I've just pressed the... Can you see that? Look a bit like a zip. Um, I'm going to make another couple of marks in there. Now, I've got to remember, I'm making a video to show you how to make this and not to sit here enjoying myself. Um, you can use the pencil to make dots. I quite like these. 
and you can use if you've got any stamps i've got some stamps um like i can make little stars but if you haven't got them it's fine um hearts and things just gonna put a heart Oh, now I've made a hole. I didn't mean to make the hole. <laughs> I made a hole. So I've just spent some little bit of time just decorating his coat. I've made a couple of holes. Doesn't matter if you've made any mistakes. But I've cut some shapes out. I've stuck some on. Um, you can use like a pen lid to make circles. There's lots of things you can do. Have a good play with it. And now we're going to pop his coat on or his dressing gown, whatever, <laughs> whatever you've made. So just get your comb, get ready to wrap it round. I'm just pinching mine together at the front. So you want to make a nice collar the head to sit in, collar of his coat. And then the rest sits out like a little crown. Okay. Then we're gonna put his head in. Um, I'm just dipping my finger into, a, into the little um, bit of water and rub it around the clay to make, make it wet and that will help it to stick and then Pop it on. My fingers are all slimy now. Pop his head on. Make sure, make sure you're happy with where it is. You can move it. And now his ears. I'm just looking at my ears and I'm thinking, are they similar? Bit, bit different in size. I try and make them. And I want the middle bit to have a little fold because I might want to paint those pink inside later. Squash out whoop, the bottom. So it's a bit fat on the bottom. That's where it's going to stick to his head. Dip those in the water. And then pop them on his head wherever you want them to, to go. Now they might move. Now some of my clay is showing some cracks. Um, I quite like the cracks, I think they look really cool, but if you don't like yours, just put your finger in the water and run them over the clay. Okay, I think he's ready. So he's a bit tricky to pick up now. Oh, I've made some holes. Right, when um, he needs to go and dry, so if you've got salt dough, Sit him on the radiator or in the windowsill and you will need to leave him for at least a day. Um, if you've got air dry clay, then you can just pop him somewhere quite warm and he will dry in a few hours. But maybe you'll need to leave him until tomorrow. And then Powertex, you can hair dry, but leave him overnight as well. So when he's dry, I'm going to paint him. Okay, see you in a little while. Good morning, my Easter bunny has had a whole night to dry and now he's ready to be painted. The first bunny I did, he was brown, but I'm going to choose to paint mine white this time. You can use any paints you've got. I'm using a mixture of acrylic, poster paint and watercolours, just to show you <coughs> what to do with all of them. And I've got um, two quite small brushes, I don't know if you can see those there, but you can use any that you like. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just painting the I'm just painting the rabbit on video, okay? 
white one. So I'm just going, can you see what I'm... Oh, no, you can't see. Is that white? It is white. Here he is. So I've is got quite a lot white? of water on my brush. So it's just making... Um, it's just watering the rabbit down a bit much. So I'm going to just keep adding paint. And this is your Easter Bunny. It's your project. You can do whatever you like. Is that my project? Well, I'm talking to the video, so this one's mine. But whoever's watching, they'll be doing yours. You've done your own Easter Bunny, Rupert, haven't you? I'm doing a... I have got to. Well, that's the one I did with you. So Rupert, the video can't see. Do you want to come round here so people can see who I'm talking to? Here's Rupert. Here he is. Are you going to let me carry on painting? You can't sit on my lap. It's a bit tricky for me to paint. What? It's a bit tricky if you sit on my lap for me. So first of all, I'm going to paint his head. I'm just choosing two colours for my rabbit. So I'm doing um, a white bunny and I want to do a white um, top of his coat. And then I'm going to do a pink coat. So I'm just choosing pink and white. I think you can, if you keep it simple, it's more effective. And then I'm just going to paint... I'm going to paint his coat a pale pink. There we are. And you just paint it all over. And when he's finished, let him dry. I'm rushing mine a little bit just so I can show you, but when he's finished, let him dry. And then if you've got some glue or varnish, just normal PVA glue or any varnish, just paint it all over the top and that will, um, that will protect him. Okay, I'll show you a picture. So I've just carried on painting around here. Um, and you might be able to see, I've just given my rabbit a little pink nose. My bunny, Easter bunny, and little pink ears. And a pink coat. And I've tried to pop a little pink <coughs> heart on there. Okay, when you've done um, and finished yours, I would love to see some pictures. So if you ask mummy and daddy, they can send them to me on WhatsApp or email. Um, and I can share them on the Facebook page. Okay, I hope you have lots of fun doing this project and I'll see you hopefully, fingers crossed, very soon. Bye-bye.